just got this in this is my samsung s9 plus this is the case i have on it this is an actual sticker which i love it always uh when i was using this phone a couple of years ago people used to think that i had taken the back off the case when i was using it which is pretty cool but anyway this is just a regular um i use it now to take pictures and videos and stuff like that and i put like a see-through just uh like a bumper case made, made out of metal see-through because i actually liked the way the back looked which was pretty cool but i need more battery life and the battery's just not lasting long enough so i went on amazon and i just looked through some batteries and i uh picked um one out that i'm actually going to try with this phone which is this i want to see how much weight it puts on the phone again this is just going to be more of a camera photo uh phone that i'm using on the side i also use it as a wi-fi um uh analyzer and to check my wi-fi signal and uh my distance and all that stuff so let's just open up the case According to the instructions, it says, uh, when I open it up, it says to slide your phone slightly into the battery case and make sure phone is well connected to the connector of the case. Then it says, press and hold the power button for three seconds to activate or to stop charging. The charging signal will be shown on the phone screen. So it'll let you know when the, when the case is charging the phone or when it's not charging the phone. I'm hoping it's a USB-C connection. Let me move this to the side for now. Let me show you everything that comes inside the actual case. Uh, this way. Uh, I'll have this at the end. And the actual case itself. nice case it feels nice it doesn't feel like it's going to do any damage to the phone at all this is the info on the case pretty cool kind of heavy so let me move this to the side this is pretty much everything that comes inside the uh, box Always keep the box just in case you have to do a return. You never know if these things stop working. So we uh, usually give it the month. Keep the box around for about a month. Let me check the uh, weight, pounds and ounces. Let me just double check. 4.8 and now let's try it with the phone so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fully charge this and just let you know how much battery life I get with it without charging it at all so it's a USB connection there okay so let's slide the phone in shouldn't be too hard USB-C, remember that? Uh, make sure I'm putting it in. I'm trying to make sure that it... Hmm. And again, this is a sticker. All right, so I'm trying to put this in for the first time. Yeah, there it goes, okay. You just kinda have to hold it at an angle a little bit. And then just hopefully snap it in and then be really careful, really, really careful. This is your phone and you don't want to crack anything or break anything. All right. It's a tight fit. Okay, it's in. Yeah, it feels nice. That's the back of it. Not bad. Uh, 
know, it almost doubles the weight of the actual foam. Uh, no, it actually goes over. I just realized it was 4.8. Just it's actually going over. It's it was 4.8, so it's double the weight uh, with the case 11.5. So yeah, it doubles the weight. Um, a little bit more than double the weight. And let's plug it in to see what happens. So it says to hold this seconds. Button. Let's see if it has any charging. So the charge indicator is in the back of the phone. As you can see, and it's charging the phone. It's on, so if I turn it off, if you hold it for three seconds, it turns off and the phone stops charging. Okay, let's plug it in. And let's let it charge. I let it fully charge. I don't know if there's a charge indicator on the actual case itself, but it has all the openings for everything you need access to. All right, let's leave a charge, see what happens. I fully charged the phone and the battery case before starting to use it. And what I was using it for was for uh, GPS. I was also using it to stream um, Hulu, Netflix, Udemy, and different other applications that I uh, had, any media. So I was constantly using it, trying it out, using the Wi-Fi analyzer, and seeing how long battery life I get with this actual device. Now, I got the, with the, before I turned on the battery case, I first drained the phone to about 4%, 3 to 4%, which took about nine hours. So we have nine hours of the actual battery usage on the phone itself only. It lasted about nine hours before it got to about 3%. Then I turned on the case, and with the case, uh, it, while it was charging, I still had it running. I still had media playing. I left it playing, you know, three, four, five hour videos from YouTube on my nightstand. And I got, you know, I was trying to do as much as I can in regards to usage. So I got it, the case itself gave it an additional. 12 hours, 12 hours. So with constant, constant media playing, I got actually a total of 21 hours with the case. So I got, this is my own test. This is not a professional test. This, I didn't use anything. I'm a normal guy who buys things and just tries them out. This is the first time usage of the actual case itself fully charging it overnight, making sure that both the phone and the case were fully charged. And I played media, I used it as a GPS in my car. Uh, anything I needed to do that I could use the phone with, this has no cellular uh, SIM card in it at all. It, I was using it as a Wi-Fi device and I was also tethering it off my iPhone and using it to surf the internet or what have you when I was outside my home. Um, I also had it, like I said, I was watching media. I was trying to drain the battery as fast as I could, and it took me 21 hours. So I got 21 hours out of the case. Now, if I had this as a regular phone, and if I used it just like I used my iPhone, I probably would have gotten about 30 hours, easy. Uh, 30 or 30 plus hours, because I wouldn't be constantly running media you know, I, as often as I did with this case, I was just te doing a real world testing in that even when I wasn't using it, I lowered the volume all the way to zero and I left the media playing in the background. Um, like I said, you know, three, four hour videos and it was connected to my Wi-Fi. So it was using battery to connect to the Wi-Fi, stream from YouTube, a three or four hour video. 
I just kept it running, 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 running. And even when I walked away from it. So it was, it did a pretty good job, 21 hours. I'm happy with it. So it's gonna fit my needs. Again, I use this as a consumption device. I use this to take pictures. I use this to do videos. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. I don't use it as a phone anymore. I'm sorry, I'm an iPhone person. Uh, nothing against Android. I just have too many Apple devices. And uh, Apple does a pretty good job in integrating everything together, you know, when it comes to FaceTime. You know, one of the key features I like that they, you know, put on an update, a uh, couple of updates back was the feature when I'm on my Apple TV, the option to use my phone or my tap or my iPad as a keyboard so that I can log into uh, uh, different um companies uh, you know whether it be hulu or youtube or anything like that it's easier to type it on your ipad than it is scrolling with the remote control and clicking on every single character so it that's one feature that i really really like about apple but anyway i'm sorry uh, nothing against android i love android um, I'm, I'm hoping for a third option one day but for now, we have Android and we have Apple uh, or iOS and Android. Uh, hopefully we'll have something else in the future. I was kind of happy when uh, Microsoft was trying to make their own. You know, it, it'd be interesting to have a Windows phone device. I know it didn't work in the past, but uh, get away more from the computer and go towards more mobile and phone. Maybe uh, Microsoft will one day do that. I don't know. All right. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you.